Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Cass. I'm an optometrist practicing in Beaumont, Texas, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Ambio Disc and how I use it in my own practice. It's actually a very easy product to use, very beneficial for lots of different corneal problems such as neurotrophic ulcers, corneal ulcers, burns, abrasions, and even severe dry eye. Here you can see the packaging for the Ambio Disc. They're really small and they don't take up a lot of space. One of the benefits of the dry amniotic tissue is that it does not have to be refrigerated so you can actually keep it in an exam room ready to go. You don't have to worry about taking it out of a freezer. The disc is available in, in three different sizes, a 9 millimeter, a 12 millimeter, and a 15 millimeter. The 9 and 12 millimeter are more commonly used in optometry offices just because they can easily be put on a stock uh, contact lens. Here we're putting a drop of tetracaine in the eye to prepare the surface of the eye. I usually put this in before opening the product to give the drops time to take effect. After you've anesthetized the eye, you'll want to take a look at the eye through the microscope and really dry the surface out. You don't want to put the ambio disc on dead or dying tissue. You want to remove as much of that as possible so you get a good adherence of the graft to the cornea. Here you can see us opening the Ambio Disc packaging and you'll see several items in the package. There are barcodes that you can attach to your chart, a donor card that you'll need to send in, and then of course the uh, tissue itself. You can see we'll open the outer package which seals and protects it and then you can see the inside the outer package there's an inner package that has the disc itself in there and you want to be careful opening this so as not to dislodge the ambio disc itself when you open it you want to observe the orientation of the markings on the ambio disc you're looking for an IOP marking on the disc to show you its orientation next you will want to prepare the contact lens I find the non tooth forceps make it easy to get the contact lens out of the vial I like to place it on a sterile pad and then I'll use a dry wet cell to dry out the back surface of the contact lens. We want the back surface of the contact lens to be as dry as possible so that the ambio disc tissue will stick to the back surface nice and secure. So here we're picking up the ambio disc. You want to use non tooth forceps and be careful not to damage the disc. You also want to take note of the orientation. You should see an IOP on the disc and you want to make sure that that IOP is oriented towards the cornea. Try to place the ambio disc in the center of the dried contact lens. It's going to adhere very quickly so try to get your placement right to begin with. You can then take a wet cell and smooth out the ambio disc across the back surface of the contact lens. Get it nice and even and centered across the back surface of the lens. Here we can see the uh, ambio disc properly oriented on the back surface of the contact lens with the IOP facing the surface of the cornea when it's placed on the eye. At this point, it's as simple as inserting a contact lens for a patient. The main thing to remember here is to get the lids out of the way, get the eye nice and wide so that you can get the lens cleanly onto the surface of the eye. The lens is going to be a little dry and the patient's eye may be a little uncomfortable. That's okay. Go ahead and dry any excess tears away and give the ambio disc and lens a chance to adhere to the surface of the eye. You'll want to take a look at the lens with a microscope you can see some minor folds here. Those are not a big issue. Patients should be very comfortable with the ambio disc in their eye at this point. I see healing very quickly. The disc will last um, five days or so, but you should see significant improvement and significant patient comfort with this product. This is the most common method that I use to place the ambio disc on the eye. In cases where you really want to make sure that the ambio disc adheres to the surface of the cornea, you can use a lid speculum. We have another video that illustrates that.